I read Sam on this morning, and even he says he agrees with that. I'm just going to go over this one more time for people that don't get it, yeah? This is the only way to number fuse boards. Humans read from top to bottom, from left to right. So you number it one, two, three, four, five, and six. With this method, there is no way it can go wrong. If you number it down here, then down here, and you change this fuse board for an eight way, this becomes number four, and this becomes number eight. On this method, all these numbers stay the same. All the test results are the same. All the previous test results are the same. All the cable numbering stays the same. That's why streets are done like this. No matter what anyone says, this is the only way to do it. Top to bottom, left to right. Like humans read. What's so hard about it? Everything stays the same. Could anyone find a flaw in this? No. What really fucks me off about it, what re honestly really does fuck me off because you've got people doing different stuff. Every electrician should be able to go to a fuse board and know where a number is. On my system, the system I use, number two is always the top right. Number four is always the second one down the right. You don't have any errors. You don't have electricians going to the fuse board wondering how numbers are done because the number on a 10-way is the same as a 6-way, is the same as an 8-way. That's why it's a better system. It's safer. We've got sparkies going to fuse boards, looking for numbers, risking numberings be wrong. And what really pisses me off is, why don't the IET... Put it in the regs. Standardise the numbering. That way, everyone will be working the same imp sheet. So Sparky is not going to go one, two, three, four down the left-hand side and turn that breaker off, thinking he's turned breaker four off, when it's in fact up there. This is crying out for standardisation. It pisses me off that it's not been done. Fucking sort it out, IT, you assholes! New camera angle, because the sun's in the wind here. Yeah? I've had about six people mess with me now going, fucking hell, yeah, that's right. It is right. It's not my method. I didn't invent it. It's what I got taught to do by the firms I worked at. Look at my system and see if there are any flaws in it. If there are any flaws in it, let me know. I want to know. But there's definitely flaws with the down one side, down the other side thing because the numbers all go wrong. If you use the top to bottom, left to right method like you read, you won't go wrong. Like a street's numbered. I'm not telling you wrong. I'm not telling you a cunt. I'm not trying to fuck you putting on down. Maybe some people have never done a big numbering system across a massive plant, yeah? But it works better. And then obviously when you're on bigger size, if you look at the codes you get on boards and stuff, if you read a lot of them, you start to realize they mean something and that numbering system means something. For example, on a big numbering system, you might have A and B pre-codes, transformer A, transformer B, it all flows down it. What I always say on fuse board numbering, yeah, I've done to death our three phase board should be numbered from top to bottom to left to right. And loads of people have messaged me today saying they agree with me and they get it and they understand what it is. Whether they're going to do that, I don't know. You can't just start changing your fucking entire site, but hopefully it'll fill for a mark, keep pushing it a little bit more, who knows. Domestic fuse boards. I don't care what anyone fucking says, yeah, mine's got it. My isolate's on the right. Don't number them backwards, yeah? What you want to do in domestic is, if you want to number them like that on your test sheet, because it makes you feel better, because it's some electrical thing people have done for years, so it can all fucking kill each other like Piper Alpha or something, because they did stuff on there for years, yeah? It doesn't matter. Left to fucking right. Numbering, English, goes fucking left to right. It doesn't matter if the fucking main isolator's in the fucking middle. You number the breakers left to right. Ideal on a domestic fuse board, what I would do is, I wouldn't number them at all. Because your customer don't give a fuck about numbers. All they give a fuck about is names. I just want to reiterate this, yeah? So it's absolutely crystal clear. You see that fucking box? You see all you sparkers out there? Once you've fitted that, you're fucking done with it. It's nothing to do with you anymore. That box has to be used by a normal person. Just because electricians have always labelled it from the main switch in the other way. So... Fucking 99% of the cunts that use that board don't have a fucking clue about that thing. So just number it like people read. Left to right, top to bottom. Bear in mind as well, look behind me. Look at this wall behind me and see if you can spot a screwdriver. Right? You know what you did? There's no fucking screwdriver there. But immediately as I said it, you started there, scanned. Went down there, scanned. Went down there and scanned because your brain and your mind is designed to do that. So why the fuck do you want to number a fuse board in the opposite direction to every single...